What's going on, world? It's Thursday, and I'm jumping on live. I've been trying to go live this whole week, and it's just been going left and right. Like, I couldn't get it right, but you know what I'm saying? One thing I learned about me trying to do something, like, as long as you keep being adamant about what David you want right. like it will work itself out then use the right lane to take the Florida and like so I, I'm ramp. jumping on today with my testimony to let you know like yo you can't give up like you can't throw in the towel just because it's not working in your favor like you can't just say I quit just because it's not going the way you want it to go like you really got to put that work in and keep pushing keep going towards it keep going for what you want out of life what you want out of yourself what you want out of your family what you want out of your health what you want out of your career like what you want out of your finances and and what i'm what i'm getting at is that we're giving up too much we're giving up because we feel like yo if i if i don't make it, if I don't, if it don't come out the way I want it to come out, then I just wasted my time, I knew this wasn't work, this wasn't going to work, you know, my family, my friends was right, and like, that's far from the truth, that's far from the truth, and I'm, I'm telling you, I'm giving y'all my testimony, personally, that like, as much as this week was a long week, and the amount of stuff that I got planned this weekend and the stuff that I've been working on, like as much as I want to be like, try to sh cut corners and, and throw in a towel or whatever, like I'm I'm still pushing. Cause I know, there's a, I know there's a light at the end of the tunnel. I know what's waiting for me. But I would never know if I keep quitting. Like there's some stuff that you you have going on in your life there's some some conversations there's some situations there's some people that you just trying to avoid because it's a lot easier if you don't gotta worry about yo i i, I don't you know i know we gotta have that conversation but i don't want to have that conversation then it's like all right when are you gonna have that conversation? You know, when 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 are you gonna do that? At what point do you say like, yo, enough is enough? I gotta have that conversation because that's what's stopping me from actually doing what I wanna I wanna do that I need to do. So I'm I'm telling you, you know, I'm not gonna be that long on here, but I'm telling you that have those uncomfortable conversations have those conversations that you, you know that's uncomfortable you know take those steps that's the most scariest step to take knowing that you don't know the outcome like take those take those steps that you know like you don't know what's going to happen when you take the next step but you know something you did more than just standing there by just taking the first step and that's why I want you to understand that, like, if you got to take those steps in order to see what's out there. I know it's comfortable to sit and be stagnant about stuff, but it's even better when you know that you walk into something. Like, you got something to do. Just do it. Don't sit around and, and think, you know, I hope that this happened. I hope I make this money. I hope... I, I, I get healthy. Like you gotta just take it on. And I know you don't want to go through that the, the 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 pain and the struggle. I get it. I promise you. But I promise you, like if you can, if you can start taking those little steps, those little steps. You ain't gotta go cold turkey, but start taking those little steps in 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 life. Take those little steps in your career, in your family, your business, whatever it is. You take those little steps. I promise you, the distance that you see. From where you are at to where you're going, I promise you, you're like, yo, it wasn't that hard. Like, I created this image in my head that 
this can't be done. Like, is it possible? Only people that got it done is the people that you see on TV or the people that you see on social media. Like, yo, they wasn't born with it. Like, they just worked on it. They just, they made a decision to take the first step. And I'm asking you, what step are you willing to take for you to go to the next level? So you can achieve your goals. So you can actually live out your dreams. Because the only person that's stopping you is you. That is the only person that's stopping you is you. And if you can honestly pull that little person out, out, that keeps telling you that you can't do this, or you shouldn't do this, or you should go rest, or you should go watch TV, or you should put it on to tomorrow, or you, whatever it is. If you can block that little person that's trying to distract you, I promise you, you're gonna get to you're gonna get to the end goal faster than you thought. You're gonna realize it ain't that scary. But you gotta stop, you gotta, you gotta put your blinders on. You know, one thing about horses in a horse race, they cover their sides because they, they get distracted. And if you can put your blinders on and you just look straight and you know there's a goal, there's a light, there's something waiting for me, I promise you, you're going to be in better shape. Like the year is not over. Don't throw in the towel just because the last eight months wasn't the way you turned out to be. Like it, it, it didn't work out the way you wanted it to be. Like don't throw in the towel just because these last eight months you're not making the money you expected. Don't don't throw in the towel because you you started out in a gym and now you back in whatever you want. Like don't throw in the towel because of that. No. Pick the towel up, wipe your face and say, I'm, it's, it's not over yet. It's not over. In two miles, take exit it's not Memphis over. Street Raymond James State like, it's not over because I'm saying it's not over. I still, you know what? Those last couple, eight months, I was preparing myself. I was preparing myself for what I'm about to do these, la these next four months. I'm going to go all in. I'm, I'm going all in these next four months. Whether that's me stop drinking, smoking, drugs, eating bad, uh, thinking bad, being around bad, you know, just creating scenarios that didn't even happen. Whatever it is that's stopping me from getting where I want to be and where I need to be, it stops because I'm taking control. I'm taking back my life. I'm taking back what I said I was going to do on December 31st. And if that means on December 31st, I said I was cutting people off. Well, you know what? Today, that's the last day they're going to hear from me. If December 31st was the last day they, I said I was going to stop soda, then that's what it is. Like, whatever it is, like, I'm making those changes today. The year's not over. Don't wait till next year to start a new a new res resolution. Don't wait till next year to say, I'm going to start over. Let me just finish it out. I already messed up. There's no way I can, do, I can fix this. My grades are the way they are. I can't do nothing. Yes, it is. Go talk to the teacher. What can I do? Whatever I got to do, I'm doing it. I'm at a C. What's the, if I do everything, extra credit, everything, where can I be? <coughs> I'm going to be at a B. All right, that's the goal. But don't throw in the towel just because eight months has, hasn't has been so friendly to you. Like, it don't, it, 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 that's not, that's not how this works. It's not going to be, it's not going to be easy. Like, nobody said this is going to be easy. Whatever you want in life, you're going to have to work for it. And the reason why you're going to have to work for it is because you value it more when you work for it. If I gave you a car and you crashed it and you call me and say, oh, I crashed the car, you know the problem becomes mine, not yours. Because you're like, uh, 
you know, reason why, you know, I, it's, it, you know, I didn't really like that car because it, you know, the AC or the, the, the rugs wasn't there. So something you didn't work for, you didn't value it as much as if you had to save your money, shop around for cars, talk to dealers, go, go test driving, do all this stuff. So I'm telling you, like, get yourself in a position where you value what you work for. And I'm telling you, you are going to be in a way better position than what you think you was in. It's your boy, Lamar Wilson. I'm saying uplift your mind before you uplift your phone. I'm going to be, I'm back jumping on these lives. Give me y'all, give me y'all my heart. All I ask is y'all give me y'all air. Peace.